got a jambalaya one for you this week. That's right. We're talking about classiness. We're talking about organizing being a housewife, your closet, being a housewife, going like to, to be dance a soft school and top, and what it is to eat a chocolate bar. It's it iconic, really. Goodbye. M. Oh. M. Mom. When your first choice is a big old bus, you turn around and boom, you end up with a sloppy second. Oh, Diva. Our number is 213 hey. 536 uh-huh. 9180. Uh-huh. Our little sloppy second spot at gmail.com. Now I'm with the show. Oh, how you slap, you stupid little f***ing, that's a f***ing, you Welcome to sloppy second with Big Dipper and me, Bobby, me, Bobby, that Big Dipper. Bonjour. Bonjour, wee oui, wee. Oui. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I was gonna wear the little necktie, but I felt like it didn't really go with the leather jacket. Bonsoir. But, um, I thought T-T. it would maybe cover my <laughs> wrist, but it doesn't. No. Delicate wrist. The smallest wrist. Are I, you dropping weight in your wrists? Someone said something so rude to me the other day. What? They said, it's crazy how much weight you've lost, especially from a behind. What does that mean? Oh, means you're losing like my in your butt ass? is gone. They were like, "You're flat back there." Now you know how it feels. Good old long back over here. I miss that booty. Remember when people would be like, "What's about that butt, though, me, Paul?" Yes, <laughs> and now there's nothing. Oh well, I guess it's part of life. I'm not trying to lose weight. Frankly, it's upsetting every time someone mentions it. She's just crying. Okay, uh, she's elegance. She's class. She's full of. Sausage and Spice. Ooh. From, from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 14, our guest today is the one and only June Jambalaya. Ooh. Hi, Gorge. How are you? Great. So you, happy you're here. I'm happy to be here. We've been talking about getting you on the show forever. Forever, forever. And then I live down the street. Well. I just found that out. I mm-hmm. thought you were one of the downtown girls that lives mm-hmm. in that one building. No, 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 no. Not no. for me. No, not for no. you. Downtown, not cute. Ooh. For me. For you. For me. For me. For That's I your stomping for me. I, I used to like love living down there. I lived down to I was actually my ex when I was in college. I lived on 8th and Alvarado and I was oh. and I was mugged. Uh, well, that's gonna happen. So I actually moved because I was living like on Skid Row, Skid Row area, mm-hmm. and I never like never once walked out of my apartment. I would always drive out because it was the only way I felt no, safe. No, I was I mugged at night. I didn't tell you this, but I went to your building recently, your old building. Oh, because it's like open again. They kicked us all out. I'm sorry, I'm not going to make this about me, but they kicked us all out. <laughs> but Being like that they were going to like to upgrade say. the apartment and make it beautiful. And then it went back on the market and nothing has changed about the interior of it at all. The place I was in was nice. Yeah, you could... We you can upgrade the anyway. How are you doing? I'm <laughs> good. You're loving living in North Hollywood now. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's so much more space. You get more for your money because mm-hmm. I lived. I've lived. My school was in Hollywood. I lived downtown. My address is Hollywood. Um, I've always wanted to live in Glendale. Me oh, too. Me too. And I think it's just the Armenian woman in me. <laughs> um, I just get the people. I get the culture. Um, <laughs> I want to be close I, to the Zanku chicken. Well, I used to work at the Bloomingdale's. The oh. And, and I, like, started to learn Armenian. But I have doing chbesses. Okay. So what, have you ever been to a Zanku's chicken? No, but I've been to a, an Armenian wedding, and I just went to an Armenian. It was a two-year-old birthday. Oh, huh. how'd, they who, celebrate! How'd you end birthdays? up there? Who's well, my friend had it. My old oh, coworker okay. had a baby, and her first and her first birthday was prettier than some people's wedding receptions. Like the floor Pomp arrangements, and, circumstance. and it was at a banquet hall in Glendale. For a baby's birthday, one year. Listen, old. if you can <laughs> afford to celebrate that, then celebrate it. I feel you like that I mean? is your judge. Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> sure, why not? I'm sure it's more for me. Anyway, the money they spent was like someone's drag race package. Oh, oh my god, my god. a much, good package. How much did you spend on your package? Start spreading the news. Let's hear about it. Okay, so I spent money on my package, and then remember after drag race, I did all those videos. Yes. yes. So around, I think I spent twenty eight to 30 on my package okay. when I was there and then I spent another 12,000 on all those videos. Wow. Wow. How much Holy did shit. you spend on the entrance look? <laughs> Okay. I said we're not talking about that. I no, thought let's you go said there. We can, we're we talking it. about it. We can do it. it. <laughs> so in my mind, 
uh-huh. in my mind, if I'm being honest, uh-huh. I was like, I had never seen a bigger girl wear labels. We we were fashion sure. girls, but within like our our style of drag. We're we're designing it ourselves. Yeah. Right. And so I June's aesthetic is kind of basketball wife, housewife, you mm-hmm. know. And I was like, and Emilio Pucci was really in at that time. Yes. And I was not, I was like, oh, I can actually get Emilio Pucci that fits me. And so I ordered it off Farfetch. It was a little tight. I was like, we're gonna make it work. But originally, that was not my entrance look. What was your entrance look? I bum, think bum. I posted it. It was the D squared dress with the uh, oh, yeah. with the dr- the pink dreads. Right. That wig didn't come in time. And then I remember the season before Simone, they lip sync episode one, and so I was like, "Oh, I can't move in this dress." Mm-hmm. And the night before Drag Race, they give you a note and saying, "Be prepared for anything." I was like, "Oh, we're gonna have to perform." But I didn't know they were just scrapping me to, you know, the little thing and spinning me around. <laughs> so the Poochie was always a backup. Why can't they? I'm sorry, but why can't they say, like, yes, you will be lip syncing? Because, like, what if you want to wear, like, a super, like you're saying, a super Come look, on. but you can't walk in it because it's a fishtail gown or something? Let mm-hmm. them have fun let with it. Let them wear it. it. No, let them have fun with it. Be prepared for anything. And my anxiety was, like, through the, I was like, I can't perform in this dress. I definitely couldn't perform in those, like, shoes I was going to wear with right. it. And so I was like, okay. I said, well, I'd still poochy. It's designer. I'm a big girl. Like, they're going to get it. And originally, I want to come in with shopping bags like for different brands Mm -hmm. with the look Uh but because of the names on the bags I couldn't do that so it was it was thought out but it was still bad I don't I don't (laughs) think the look was once I saw like on my body and like you know it just it wasn't it but you don't I mean looking back you're just like whatever it happened I mean no I haven't seen anyone wear Emilio Pucci current season there it is. Now, is it true that you... I know we have all these questions on this outline. But okay. I, feel like I, I felt like, I'm just going I felt like we were going to have questions for No, me. we do. We I do. We like, do. But I just want to say, because I had talked to Cornbread when you got on the show. I was talking to Cornbread about you. And she was like, oh, yeah, she is a stylist. She mm-hmm. was like a, a makeup artist. There was like all she these... Was best, Corn, Corn was best friends with my ex. that, And she lived in that building on 8th and Alvarado. We went to we went to college together. Oh, yes. my ex boyfriend Corn was best friends with. And you studied dance in college. Mm-hmm. Was that j- strictly dance, or was it also musical theater, singing, and dancing? So I went to performing arts school predominantly my whole life. Uh huh. And I was doing voice in high school. Oh, and. <laughs> Do you know about vibrato? Yeah, come on, give me that. Ah! Oh, like, I, don't, I don't sing now. Well, you can, oh, oh, that's for so boards. The chords are shut down. <laughs> so yeah, I will sing this for boards. I'm like that. Mariah Carey. It depends on the weather <laughs> and, like, you know, and, how I, and how much rest I've gotten. Right. Oh my God. Very much so. But that was kind of my secret. That was my plan. I was like, oh, we're going to dance for the talent show and then surprise them for the rusical. Mm-hmm. You know, I had, it, I had a plan. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Make well, I will can say I take you us are off beat? Just for yeah, once, or off path. Are you gonna the talk thing, about herbie? No, I'm just. Flawless. Well, do you see the line? That's the only. Yeah, it's like how is it? The so like gold. Perfect. It's gold. and then yeah. the pink. It's You're so um, well, oh, oh, we'll do it on the break. Your beret, I think, is. <laughs> I like oh, it's going. Your beret, <laughs> like Jim Appel, top of the head. You know what I mean? I think that's what we're looking for. We <laughs> oui, we oui. <laughs> bonjour. So, how have the gigs been since Drag Race? I am very fortunate, and I. Going home first, it it sucks, but it could have been worse for me. Like, I'm mm-hmm. very thankful to that chocolate bar because it has kept me current. And I feel like my work ethic with the videos and people seeing, like, me perform live now mm-hmm. than what they saw on the show, like, I'm still I'm still moving. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I haven't, like, died yet. I think people would be, if they haven't looked into your performances, they really need to. Because when we had you at Precinct, you t- every time, you tear it down. Mm-hmm. You do a fully choreographed dance. It's yeah. like you're watching. I think I've seen you do the Beyonce one. Mm-hmm. And it's like you're watching you, like Beyonce. It's incredible. And then when you go up into the headstand, mm-hmm. with the legs up. I was screaming. <laughs> I, I was fucking screaming. <laughs> you miming headstand. No, I have a video. Well, and I have a video of you. Oh, oh. Your are <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be like that wee all wee. day. This yeah, kept exactly. happening on Drag Me to Dinner too. This hat is cursed. Um, wait. So, are you preparing? Do you have any Renaissance Beyonce performance? So you're waiting. I, d- I d- until... no, I did. Um, I have her Lueve the glove costume, mm-hmm. and I've been doing that one. Um, with heated, 
Oh, and um, I had then I have a longer Renaissance mix that I did for Cornbread's charity show, mm-hmm. and like that took a lot out of me. <laughs> it's a, it's long. Mm-hmm. It's a hard and dance. it's like because in my mind like. A lot of people still don't know Renaissance because I like was hosting a brunch in Palm Springs. Maybe it just wasn't the, well, the mean, place. Palm Springs, Springs, yeah, and that then I was like, "Fan me off! I'm hot, hot, hot." And they Crickets. were like, "What? Do you need air conditioning?" Yeah, and or? then like they didn't get it, and so like trying to still put like you know some older Beyonce into the Renaissance oh, yeah. too. So it's like they get it, and they're still there with me, and so it makes it even longer. Well, that's if you want an old white gay to get into it, you got to do Sasha Fierce. Oh no! What else? Every time in Palm Springs when I do single leg, tip me mm-hmm. down. That's it's crazy. It. That song is also weird. It's a weird song. Mm. The way it's built is weird. As like, a chair member of the Beehive, explain. Right now, I just, just think it is. Out? It is. It does not sound like a typical pop song, and like what she's doing with her voice doesn't sound like. Typical Beyonce. I see you. I see you over there. I'm not. I'm not um, uh, uh, tearing this song He's apart. Going. He's going I'm, to Renaissance. From an from an analysis, I think it's a weird song, and I think it's weird that it is her biggest hit ever. Is That's it weird. Hit? It I, is. I feel like to the left, to the left. Like, no, your was like, like, not that big. I feel like Crazy in Love is the biggest. Oh yeah. No, Single Ladies is the largest. It. it I it, know it's the most like what like streamed. That's right? what I mean. Yeah. It's like it is the biggest song she has ever made, and to me, it doesn't feel like Liza Minnelli did it. Oh, she did. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Sex in the City. Saturday Night Live, they did it. Oh, it was yeah. on the Today Show. Well, she took over the world. Yeah. Anyways, I'm excited to see. Uh, She's seeing Beyonce twice. You've already seen her. You're just seeing both times. I'm going times to see in her LA. in Vegas Sunday. Okay, and then on her birthday on the fourth. I'm going to be there on the fourth as well. Yeah. Well, you won't be sitting anywhere near where she's at. No, front I, row probably. No, I private don't know. booth, backstage. Your baby's in Blue Ivy. I I actually do have videos from like <laughs> previous concerts where like she's looked at my camera, <gasps> and um, yeah, I was there. In Orlando, when she fell down the stairs during the Beyonce experience, I don't even remember that happening. Yeah. I feel like that was scrubbed from the internet. Uh-uh. It's on your phone. I loved how recently, when she was floating through the air, she saw um, what's his name, Anthony. Uh, no, Frank. No, Anthony Hyphen Knowles. What's the young man's name? Oh yes, the. Uh, say oh, my you're name, my cousin. Say my name. You my yes. husband. You my, my cousin. cousin. Yeah. And then she's floating through the air, and she said, "Say my name." Yeah. Say him. I'm like, <laughs> how how can she do that? How can she see all those people? How can she remember she everything? Loves us. She loves she's just her so, fans. So giving. And I know, and I know, because I've heard from numerous people that she has multiple fake accounts, and she'll just get on Twitter and Instagram and just laugh her ass off at memes about herself all day. Like that's one of her that's, favorite things. That's to very do. Virgo energy. Yeah. Like but then she stays aloof. Yeah, she acts like she doesn't know, which, I which love. is great. I and love. she doesn't do interviews, which I, I think is incredible because of Tyra Banks. I blame Tyra. We well, can we... always send your luggage. We... <laughs> 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 All right, let's take let's a break. Take a break. <laughs> we'll be right back. And we're back! Let's talk about the chocolate for a little bit. Just okay. a second. That was a season of Drag Race. Season 14 was the first time that that chocolate had ever been introduced. Oh, my God. Why did and you do this? It, what? And it had... You said you wanted to... You texted me. No. Let's ask her about the entrance look. No, I never said that. Do you want? I would never do that to you. I'm sure she did. Do you want to <laughs> I'd never do that. Why don't you finish asking your it's question fine. about what it's, it's like fine. being a chocolatier? Did you hear what an amazing answer she gave? So it backfired in your face, mm-hmm. trying to get your. Friend. I mean, it still looked a mess. I'm not <laughs> like I will never, I will never, and that's why I literally. My mom had made a joke. She's like, you know, TJ, if you ever go bad, like I feel like the most expensive thing has to be your entrance look, <laughs> <laughs> or just wear the same thing. Yeah, again. I was gonna say just wear that. Again. It was funny because you know at the finale, Corn wore my it's chocolate, yes. mm-hmm. but. Um, she always jokes, 
that her favorite thing of mine is the Emilio Pucci. Because she's like, I get it. She said, like, I get the, you know, city girl ratchet. Yeah. You know, the girls that are, get their little designer jumpsuit and call it a day. Yeah. She's like, I got it. I like it. I'd wear that. So the, the chocolate moment could have been, I mean, we sort of touched on this already, but like it could have been, like you said, it could have been way worse, the mm-hmm. whole scenario. And I think because of the humor that you approached the whole experience with, like as it aired, you became the meme queen because that was the first time that we were like, what the fuck is the chocolate bar twist? Yeah. Like, what is happening? And you you were like, yes, I'm going to joke along with you. I'm going to retweet the memes. I'm going to engage with them. I feel like we talk about this all the time. Some people don't understand that the internet is goofy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's meant to be silly. And if someone is like, resharing a picture where you look bad and laughing they're not bullying you yeah. i'm not saying you look bad there but i'm just no, saying no i did <laughs> you just, did you not see the sweat rolling the down it was you had just sheet. worked it, yeah you had just and put then in the, fucking work then, as my mom calls it the bus driver wig it was I a do, little forward. i do wear those wigs <laughs> often yes um but i want to say that like how did you how did you did you initially find it that funny when everyone was making the memes or did it take you a couple days to be like I got to just go with okay, it. Okay, so honestly, I was doing Southern Nights the night of my elimination. Oh, mm-hmm. God, so you had to watch it with people? I, so I hadn't seen it, and I actually hadn't watched my elimination episode for a very long time. Mm-hmm. I just saw the memes, and I just saw it taking off, and I was just like, oh, I look like <laughs> It was like with the like sweat and the chocolate, but then like my voice is so distinctive, Yeah, and it's just like, chocolate yeah and then i was just like that's kind of funny and then when people started like doing like tiktoks with it and then like all the jokes i was like you know what it's kind of funny no you don't look the best but i was like the next time they see you bitch like glow up a little bit but i was just like <laughs> okay let's just roll with it. And i was like yeah. if it's chocolate bitch i'm gonna be godiva like you know she's, she's yes the yeah it is. i mean i even used it in my pageant performance when i like went to fake pull out a rabbit and i just pulled out chocolate and i went it's chocolate and the whole audience lost their because yeah. it was just like for a time it was the funniest thing to say and a lot of people i from drag race don't have those memorable moments like even if you make it far far yeah yeah and i'm like i have a moment it may not be the best moment i want it for myself but bitch it's a moment and <laughs> it's unique because they have not unique? returned to the chocolate trope and it's still con- the, our yeah. mistress did it la la read it a yep. song it's chocolate like they, it's yes. still going so during your promo look Mm-hmm. This is you... after. Oh, so that's why you tore up the girl. This is this was we filmed our promo after we filmed the season. Because you were in this half green, half pink, the watermelon almost. Now how'd they get that fabric to fly like that? Are you throwing it? I'm throwing it every and then shot. It. You they couldn't get two PAs on that? And, and then you moved your hands back every, to your waist. To her photo, waist? Every photo I threw my earrings. And it's funny, I God, I'm saying her name again. I owe my promo. To cornbread. We love corn. We love cornbread here. So originally, I was very, before like the show aired, I was very sad, like Mm -hmm. with everything. Like I didn't even, I didn't even unpack. All my bins were still in the living room. I went back home and, you know, I went to Florida to see my family. I came back. I just like did not unpack anything. I didn't start doing photos. I was just like, ugh. And then so promo was coming up and she was like, what are you thinking? I originally had, because like brown was on the like mood board they gave us. I had, saw these brown and navy leggings from Mugler. And I was going to wear those and have them stoned with a Mugler bodysuit and leggings and my hair just straight and apart. Slay. Call it a day. I was like, I'm over it. And she was like, I feel like you can do more. She's like, you know, this is your moment, regardless of what, you know, happened. She's like, and these photos are people are going to see. And she's like, and it's going to be your working photo. What have you always wanted to do? You know you're creative. I was like, I've always wanted to do the Scaparelli earring dress, but I wanted the earrings to come out of my head instead of, like, just from my chest. Yeah. And she's like, do it. And then wow. I did I did the pink and green, my mom's sorority colors. And Aww. Because this is, it's correct kinda. me if I'm wrong, this is the photo that gets used the most when you're booked places. Mm-hmm. It's now, how do they photo. edit around the earrings? Do they often just chop off the extra fabric? Yeah, so yeah. normally it's just like my neck and, mm. then the fa- and then the hair. Slay. Love. Well, you ate that, sis. Okay. I also, I went that- on... Promo and Emmys was the only two times I went like diet. Oh, really? Because my Emmys, I didn't fit the dress. So you had to lose weight to fit in? 
Or did I, they send you up? A little bit of both. Um, I went on, I did the Beyonce liquid diet for three, because when um, August sent me the dress, it didn't fit. And he was like, and he tried to send me other options. I was originally going to wear Carrie's dress, but I was too short. And that dress didn't fit me either. Uh, and so. I remember that. And, dress was cute. and so then I was like, he, I really liked the. August Getty? Mm-hmm. Of the Gettys? Mm-hmm. Hello, August. Hello, August Getty. And then the other dress that I really, the dress I actually wore, I was like, it was beautiful. But he's like, oh, it's kind of long. I don't know if it's going to fit. And it didn't fit. And I was like, don't worry. And but you're saying that you almost wore the onion dress that carried. I saw, I, yeah. And then I, so my dress was the actual outside of the onion. So her dress was the peel of the onion. Mine was the outside of the onion. I was still from the onion collection. Okay. But I just, you know, had the prettier one. Yeah. You and, did. And so uh, what's on the liquid diet? I legit um, would do water, cayenne pepper, and lemon juice. And then if I could not, could not do it, I would do, it was strawberry, almond milk, blueberry, and just blend it. And I did that for like a week for promo and then a few days and then the ballerina tea to like really just like flush myself out. And the ballerina tea will get that. <laughs> the poop out of yeah. You've been walking around with 10 extra pounds of Yeah. Oh my God. That's like that smooth move tea that just mm-hmm. in two hours, or they're like, drink it, go to bed, and you wake up and your body is like, and red tea. I'm ready to go. But it fit. I was like, we were there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a real Hollywood story. That's crazy. So, um, just moving on from that because <laughs> the Beyonce diet is so wild. I tried to do that when I like a long time ago, where it was the cayenne, lemon juice, and syrup or yeah. maple syrup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Little and it sugar. just doesn't do anything. But um, <laughs> since the show, I'm sure you've gotten to do a bunch of crazy corporate gigs. Your face has been out there everywhere. What's the weirdest gig that you've had to do? It's She's re- like this. She's like fast. No, slut. this podcast. <laughs> recent Pride. I think it's called Pluto TV. Yes, mm-hmm. I've heard of Pluto. Yeah, in, in WeHo. It wasn't weird. It was just awkward. I did their corporate event. Uh-huh. And I they wanted the number. I did Disco Inferno in my little French costume. Slay. They were just like. It was just weird, like, because it was just, like, a regular, like, you know, company potluck situation, and then... And then you walk in yeah. under the fluorescence. Yes. There's nothing special about it. And then They're that, like, and then that tile floor, yep. and my pleasers, like, and, and then trying that. to slide around. It was just, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I've done a couple of those. Yeah, it was a little weird. Well, you feel like you're in a cafeteria. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're actually in a gymatorium. A g- <laughs> <laughs> what did they call that when it was like, a, oh, gymatorium. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gymnasium? No, gymnasium. But it's... When you would also eat there and then there was a oh, stage. Gymatorium. A gymatorium. A gym of story. I don't know. I went theater? to art school. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you, you said we had a black box. I don't know. I don't know. I went, we had a black box theater. We had a proscenium school. theater. Yeah. <laughs> we had a, a three quarter yeah. thrust. But did you ever do like theater or was it just. No, vocal? I did musicals. Okay. Oh, what's okay. your favorite musical? Was it Wicked? My. F- uh, no. <laughs> uh, love Wicked, but okay. we didn't do it. I like okay, love. Okay. I actually saw Wicked for the first time here in LA when it came a few years ago. Thoughts? Loved it. Second act was kind of boring though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I got I got my t-shirt and I'm like, Melica nom and nom and to nom to Melica nom. Yeah. But that's second act. <laughs> but it's a it's a bop of a song. Yeah. That's like have you ever and the club especially remix? and no, I started crying like when they she left. So if you kind of fly. Oh yeah. Yikes. Like, so. What's the rest of that? Look to the western sky. Yeah. Yeah, that's those are Because you, but she had the voice. That's what so I mean. Hear? La Voce came out. La Voce. So, what is your favorite musical? Aida. Aida. Uh, this is the moment. I, so we did it in high school, and I just have such a connection to it because, like, I did African dance, and um, it's, the love stories of two, you know, two people from different worlds, mm. and then African, and then the fact that they get buried together, and the songs, and Heather Headley is just like, mm. and then Deborah Cox did it. Oh yeah, and um, it's just. Have you seen the documentary film Pageant, the like old school drag documentary? Mm-hmm. It's about uh, Miss Gay America, from like the early two thousands. Pork Chop is in it. 
It's great. It's like it's on really video. Good. You can watch okay, it. Okay, I need to find but it. But one of the queens, on Cody Collins, right who just passed away, who's like an amazing Reba McIntyre impersonator. Um, Cody's in it. Like a bunch of queens. And this one queen who she's like convinced it's her year. It's like her and her man and their kid comes and they've got all these dancers, but she does a big Aida moment. Uh, uh, Dance of the rope. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's sad she doesn't win. Yeah. Would you ever do a page? So Chevelle Brooks is my mm-hmm. grandmother. The mistress is my aunt. Oh. And Jiggly Caliente oh. is my drag mother. Jiggly. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know that. Fun fact. This is she from New York. Mm-hmm. How about how, how, how after, she after she drag? Get this is after drag. Oh, oh. So, yeah. So my reveal, people kept saying I look like the black Jiggly. And uh-huh. she DM'd me and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry people keep saying that. I was like, I'm not worried. You're not ugly. <laughs> and um, I was like, I'm not offended, girl. <laughs> I was like, you cute. Um, and so when that happened, we she just kind of took me under her wing and, you know, because I didn't have a drag family right. or support. Like, my drag was art, like art school. And so I was just doing kind of what I took from there and what I saw on drag race. Right. So that's so cool. So you kind of created your own character. I June is because of my love for housewives. Like it's me watching the real housewives, watching basketball wives and then styling these women, you know, working in department stores and the closet organizer and then loving dance and fashion. Like that's where this came from. I always tell people it's for my love of women. Uh And then I just found a way to do it with drag. But my drag came from my love of, Women. That's so interesting. And so, you know who else started as a closet organizer? Kim Kardashian. Thoughts? The glow up is real. The glow up is real. Look at you now. What's you your... probably pay someone to organize your closet. What's your... <laughs> I'll do it. 